Let's go ahead and move on to some breaking news, uh, very disturbing coming out of Israel this morning. Let's go ahead and put this first element up on the screen, guys. So the reports are that at least 104 Palestinians who were waiting for food aid were killed and 760 wounded after being shot at by Israeli forces in Gaza. Um, this is obviously horrifying news. We know the levels of starvation and desperation that have become completely endemic in the Gaza Strip. Um, there is not a person there who is not undergoing severe food shortages and having to go without meals. All right, so we're about to dig into these claims because when the IDF and uh, official statecraft propaganda meisters say that they did not fire on the convoy it's sophisticated rhetoric they're not saying they didn't fire at the crowd they're not saying they didn't fire at the palestinians or the hungry starving people mobbing them they say they didn't off they didn't fire on their own convoy it's their convoy they have a 30 vehicle convoy that's they very ambivalent of them dude they're, even this is really here, sneaky the that's their fallacy yeah yeah, this is very hawk-like what they're doing. So we're gonna see if they can survive these moves. But I wanted to, uh, I wanted to point that out that they're gonna use this phrase over and over again. They did not attack the convoy. They didn't shoot at the convoy. IDF, uh, you know, all the, all these sort of things. But um, inconvenient to these facts that were just put out there because all these news agencies, they it's like these people died, but you know we don't know what they they got trampled like it was a concert. And everybody was like so pressed up against each other. They they asphyxiated and suffocated, right? That's not what happened. A hundred people didn't get run over. I'm about to show you footage that shows like the, that aerial footage that Israel so proud of where it makes everyone look like insects. And I'm going to show you. Yeah, that I was going to say well. that. My first response like at that is a very it's, damning. It's chopped and cut. But if you just watch which of these dots is moving that stops. And then you see all these dots that stop moving, which are dead people on the ground. They're like 20 yards from the convoy. They're not under the wheels of any convoy. All the dead people are being shot. You can see it in the footage that the IDF released. Reuters admitted it on the morning of. So I was just over here. I was searching my Twitter feed because there's lots of stuff on Twitter. So I, I was looking, where's my Reuters post? Here's an interesting one along the way. Israeli military opens probe into reports of October 7th friendly fire. Look, they that's Hellfire missiles on their own places. Uh, there's a lot of evidence of that. Uh, along the way, here's some Elon Levy. This is from the day of. Um, he's like, blood libel. Those poor people were killed when they were crushed in a stampede and in some cases run over by Gazan truck drivers as they try to get out, right? This is the propaganda meister. We watched him earlier, right? Generation Z, Generation Zionist. This is his take. He didn't know that Ben Gavir had already admitted to it right here. Here's it. Here's in Hebrew. Total support must be given. Uh, the IDF soldiers were endangered by these people seeking food. And this is another clear reason why we must stop transferring this aid, which is in fact aid to harm the IDF soldiers and oxygen to Hamas. So Ben Gavir had already admitted it. Reuters had already admitted it. They had a whole story on it. It's pasted in here someplace. And you know, if this was a longer show, we could find it. But again, last, last week we found that uh, censored Reuters article on Palestinian leader Arafat, who was murdered, assassinated with polonium. And then there's a whole bunch, if you go up to the top, if you were to do such a search, there's a whole bunch of interesting Rothschild Reuters <laughs> articles up here at the top. But that's not what we're here for. There's also some Jimmy Savile, Mark Thompson type stuff in here. I mean, I, my whole art, my Twitter is an archive of the research and documents and evidence. And it's not necessarily for people to read day to day, though, if you were to try to read it every day, uh, it's quite an archive. So there's that example, uh, giving food to Palestinians uh endangers the idf so here's the ben gavir statement in bigger text so you could see it if you wanted to screenshot it and then there was also this okay so this is the convoy in blue squares and these red squares are motionless people on the ground who in earlier frames were moving around as you can see they are not near the wheels of the convoy and uh there's more footage of this and there's also this piece if we were to watch it full screen See how they kind of made it look like it's like ants and insects. Oh yeah, yeah, that's perp. I imagine. Well, if not right? purposeful, it certainly uh, supports a, the way in which they view the people. It's a feature, not analogy. a bug, Tony. That's how they say it over there. 
And like the impersonality for those that are man, look how many people drones, do you see. Yeah, I mean, just, it is, but it looks just, like an ant colony. Let me just so like if you're back. someone, let me just rewind the, it back so you can see that that part because it's like you see it close up right here. That's obviously like a bag of flour at the middle. But look at the zoom out. Now watch another zoom out and watch another zoom out. There's a lot of people looking for food, bro. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's that's really that's a lot of people. It almost looks like is this thermal? Is this uh infrared? Is this uh uh what type of footage is this? Maybe yeah, it must be capturing at some frequency. Yeah, I mean yeah, anyway, to to that's drone footage. There's thermal a convoy. signatures given off. This is where you're gonna see. There's people. so much evidence you can see around from the hmm, Yeah, and there's a whole bunch of analyses on this. You can see right there. There, I do see some people under the wheels and stuff when it's getting right there, but those are not the people over here. And when they all start to run, that means there's gunfire going off. So there's that. And the comment was, "This footage is designed to make Palestinians look like insects, right? That insects was my and first thought when thought people. I saw that. The IDF has the most advanced image capturing equipment on the planet. They film and send this out to make you hate Palestinians and be indifferent to their deaths yeah, or even be happy about it. They want to show it as a mass cluster that looks exactly like an, a bug, particularly an ant infestation in your house. They don't want to make them look like humans that you know share in the same universals that you do, the same sort of uh, embodied nature. So they don't want to show that at all, make it personal in any way. Of course, they're going to show it in this very impersonal, this view, uh, zoomed out aerial view. Um, very, very devious. This is so evil. This like, like unconscionably evil, but this is surprising at this point. This is footage from on the ground. So what you're seeing is like FLIR. It was probably FLIR on a drone. And then this is like some footage on the ground while it was going down. And I mean, it's some crazy shit going on with starving, hungry people who have been waiting a day or so to get the, the food delivery. And so, yeah, the IDF, they doubled down on their Hasbara and uh, they, they denied, 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 but they denied in conflicting ways after they had already confirmed, confirmed, confirmed. And then the world started waking up a little bit more. Like it's not just the people who see it's the people who are on the fence and they're like, wait a minute. Me think thou dost doth self-defense too much. Something like that. Right. And the other aspect is I think that flower massacre video is going to end up being like the collateral murder too. 